These sirens ring out at 120 decibels. That's nearly as loud as a rock concert. So when officers answer a call, everybody should know that they're coming. But somehow, people still get caught off guard. In Duncanville, Texas, Officer Luis Cern pulls a U-turn to track down a speeder. After all, lead foots are a danger to everyone on the road. Unfortunately, so are distracted drivers. A daydreaming motorist starts to cross the street. CERN tries to swerve behind, only to see the sedan stop square in his path. The squad car plows into some trees. Looks like the speeder will get away without a ticket. But CERN is lucky to get away with his life. In Tigard, Oregon, Officer Caleb Phillips is in full emergency responder mode. With his lights flashing and siren blaring, the whole world should know he's coming. But a driver in his own world will cause some hard-hitting reality. Instead of pulling over, the oblivious person cuts left and turns this roadway response into a terrifying house call. It's just luck that no one is injured. But in Enid, Oklahoma, things won't end as well. K-9 officer Steve Miller just ID'd a career criminal and wanted felon. And when the lawman activates his siren, the lowlife makes a run for it. Almost immediately, he hits a snag. A wide load is blocking traffic. But he improvises. With a death-defying move, Miller follows the maniac across the oncoming lane. But it's going to take some extra muscle to run him down. So he yields to Officer Dwayne Andrew and a souped-up interceptor. Now, with multiple squad cars sounding the alarm and a high-performance cruiser leading the pack, you might think nothing could stop Andrews from catching his prey. But you'd be wrong. A school bus driver doesn't hear the wailing units, and the rig packed with 60 kids slams into the cruiser. As Miller pulls up to the scene, he can see the twisted cab of Andrew's car and a sea of debris. Somehow, none of the children on the bus have been seriously injured. As for Andrews, miraculously, he escapes this devastating crash with only a broken nose. And to top it off, the perp he was chasing is busted just miles down the road. For officers, moments like these are double trouble. They're not only harmful to those involved, but they could let another threat go free. So if you're counting on cops to catch the crooks, they better count on...